Good evening, Jesse. Good evening, Shakur. Gentlemen, you both know the rules. Protect yourself at all times. And make it a clean fight. Touch close now. Come on, fighting at the bell. Stevenson is laced in gold. You see the Rio 2016 logo on the back of his right shoulder. He was the silver medalist in that Olympic Games. Not many frills on Rosales. Came to the ring in a polo shirt. <laughs> well, well, you know when you you come in here and you're the opponent. Scheduled for 10. The IBF Intercontinental. The WBC Continental Americas featherweight titles on the line. Steven usually, uh, Shakur usually take a couple, maybe a couple minutes, maybe a round or two to get warmed up. He's a great counter puncher. He, he, he leads real good, got a good jab. It don't look like uh, Rosales has the speed to keep up with Shakur. Stevenson won his last fight in the first round. He's had three knockouts in his last five. So has Rosales. And Rosales scored what was considered a major up upset in his last fight last March against Ibrahim Bala in Australia. His best thing, Rosales, is to start to stay close to Stevenson, secure. Good combo, finishing with a left to the body from Shakur Stevenson. And, and uh, I believe that's going to be the key for uh, Shakur is to go to that body. Did it again. Okay, left, right, left to the body. Stevenson's a natural righty, but he fights left hand. He says he's more comfortable that way. A lot of movement, and Rosales has not shown that he could keep up. Feet, his feet are too slow. His feet and his hands are too slow. Like I said before, his best thing is to do is just try to stay close to Shakur. But that jab, that jab Shakur got is, is nice and stiff, and it, it'll keep any fighter at bay. Oh, he hurt him. Rosales with another glancing blow at best. Left, right, big combination from Shakur Stevenson. Rosales has not been able to catch up here in round one. And combinations in that, that range that uh, Shakur is using is. Finally, Rosales backed Stevenson up, but all they did was tie up. I like the way Shakur is mixing his punches up. How he goes, he starts upstairs, go downstairs, and then he'll come back upstairs. That movement is killing Rosales. Shakur Stevenson completely comfortable in round one. Just dominated that first round. I don't think the kid even landed a punch, did he? That was as well executed as could possibly be yes. for Stevenson in the first three minutes against Jesse Chris Rosales. Take one back and one over. All right? Got to be working. That's all you got to do. When you take that step back, Take the next one over and crack his ass, especially when he put his hands up here. Okay. Good, right. good. Some good instructions by his grandpa. Right. He's hot, tell him how to take a half a step back and then take a step over. That's what you call giving him angles. Take the one back, take the one over and crack. Give him angles. His feet, Rosales' feet is not fast enough for Shakur. That's why you tell him to take the half a step back, take a step over, then crack his beep again. <laughs> Stevenson. <laughs> Must be nice to have your grandfather there giving you oh, instruction. Yeah. Hey, man, they've been together for, since he's been born. Round two, we'll see if Rosales can rebound. Stevenson, the oldest of nine kids, named after Tupac Shakur. Grew up on Muhammad Ali Boulevard in Newark, New Jersey. 
destined to be a fighter. Started training when he was five with his grandfather. Oh, yeah. I seen film of the kid when he was in the gym at five and six years old hitting the bag. They knew he was going to be a champion. And right here, being a co-main event on a big show on ESPN Plus is the best thing for the kid. Rosales with a good body shot, really the first good punch that he's landed so far in the first four minutes. I like how Stevenson realized that, you know, he couldn't get, a, get around Rosales, so he sit there and he took that body shot with the good defense. He caught that on the, on the shoulder, on the elbow. <laughs> Stevenson jarring Rosales with that combo. Stevenson's team believes that Rosales is capable of only two big punches. Stevenson's ready for them. They don't believe they'll be a factor tonight. Yeah, the, the, the disadvantage of uh, Rosales is just not having fast feet. Can't keep up with Shakur. Shakur is a young athlete, 21 years old. <laughs> the beginnings of an already skyrocketing career. Silver medalist, and you and you, you managed by one of the great managers in the game, Jay Prince. James Prince, Josh Dubin mentioned Andre Ward, part of that management group yes. as well. Oh yeah, one of his idols as he was coming out of the Olympics was, was uh, Andre Ward. Stevenson is just back. hammering Rosales. Rosales is getting pushed back down by Steven. Secure. This fight scheduled for 10. Walking to him now. Walking to him. See how Stevenson, Shakur putting his hands up and walking to him. He's taking everything that he has away from him. He started pushing Rosales back. Ah! He's yeah. feeling it. He's feeling it now. He's feeling it. He got that rhythm. <laughs> well, it has been all Shakur Stevenson through the first two rounds. Jesse Chris Rosales was seemingly on an upper trajectory, but then he lost to former world champion Johnny Gonzalez in July of 2017. With a body shot. Body shot stopped him. <laughs> and he's getting stopped by all kinds of shots so far from yeah. Shakur Stevenson. I like the combination the, the, and plus the pl punt selection that Shakur had just, just threw right there. Some great work from Shakur Stevenson in rounds one and two. See how he can follow up here as round three. Begins from Turning Stone. Scheduled for 10 in this featherweight battle. IBF Intercontinental, WBC Continental America's titles are in the balance here. But for Stevenson, his eye is on a world championship and he needs a win tonight to keep that going. Yeah, well, he's been calling out some of the champions so far. Uh, here in the last six months, he said he want those guys up there. He know he can beat those guys in a performance like what he's putting on tonight can give him a case for it. Josh Warrington, Carl Frampton, some of the names that have been kicked around as potential opponents. Combo to the body. Stevenson is quick. Oh, ice body work. Rosales told him to keep bringing it. Stevenson obliges. Oh, he don't got to worry about that. The court is going to keep bringing it. Got his hands high. Catch and release. They call this in the gym, walking him down. Walking him down. Couple body shots. Rosales hits a combo. 
Not much effect though on Shakur Stevenson. You got to keep touching that body. He got to keep touching that body, uh, Shakur. You see how he's playing with his hands? He's getting his hands out of position so he can land some good shots. Left to right to the He hurt him. He hurt him. All he got to do is go back up there. Stevenson hasn't followed up. You see where he put that foot at? So he can get to the... I like the way Shakur put that foot on the side. He's playing with him. He's pulling his hands down. Showing him no kind of respect. Good body shot by Shakur. Stevenson up big left. Oh, yeah. Followed up with another. He's got Rosales' attention again. Good work by Shakur. Oh, keep him up, keep him up. Rosales has been rocked back and forth through the first three rounds by the up and coming Shakur, Shakur Stevenson. I like to see Shakur go back to his jab. Get that distance back. Right to the face. Closes round oh, three. Boy got, that boy got a mean streak in him. <laughs> Incredible work from Shakur Stevenson. Still to come, the main event. Brian Jennings against the undefeated Oscar Rivas. Big heavyweight bout. And a lot of world title implication for both Jennings and Rivas in the main event tonight. Round three, Shakur Stevenson went right back to work against Jesse Chris Rosales. Shakur can't, he can't forget about his jab. His jab is the one that established everything when he first came out. That last round, he was he stayed close to him when he talking about you know, when I was saying uh, he's walking him down, but he gotta walk him down behind the jab. I tell all fighters that walk him down behind the jab. The jab is set up for some extra shots for you. Round four begins, scheduled for 10, Stevenson and Rosales. Shakur Stevenson has dominated the first three. Good right hand there from Rosales. Rosales has big punching capability. Well, he got to get lucky tonight. That's what it will take. It's what it took in his last fight against Ibrahim Bala. I give Rosales some credit. He's been hammered tonight, and he is still coming forward and shaking off those thunderous shots. Couple of left uppercuts. Stevenson has been on point. Yes. I like how he's staying close to him and going doing that body work. He's just pushing him hey, around. Hey, make sure you're not measuring him. Just pushing him around. Stevenson in full control. He walks around, oh, and this one is over. Rosales was wobbly, and Shakur Stevenson puts him out in a dominating fourth round knockout. I like that. I like that. That boy came out here, showed up, and showed out for his hometown crowd. What a monster Shakur Stevenson was for Rosales tonight. I want to tip my hat off to the coaching staff over there. Them boys is bad, man. <laughs> <laughs> 
That was a merciless three and a half rounds from Shakur Stevenson. Oh, he Start was to in, finish. He was in tremendous amount of shape, man. I, I, you know, I kept up with Coach K, which is his coach and his grandpa, and then asked him how training was going, and, and he's on social media doing a little bit of sparring. You can see the kid was in shape, and just you can just see it in his performance tonight, how he just walked uh, Rosales down. That last crushing blow. Rosales did get up. But he wasn't awake. No, I think it was that, that solid left to the eye. That last punch was straight to the eye. Right there. Oh. Stevenson is 10-0. Rosales over to hug him now. Fourth knockout in the last Ladies six and gentlemen, fights referee Charlie Stevenson. Fitch determines that the blue corner can no longer continue, obligating him to stop this contest with an official time of 1 minute 29 seconds of round number four, declaring the winner by way of technical knockout. And now the IBF Intercontinental and WBC Continental America's featherweight champion, Shakur. Stevenson! Very impressive tonight from the young fella.